is in this uh, lesson what we are going to see is how to implement linked list using arrays uh, after this we will see how to implement it using pointers so to start with let us have a two dimensional array where this represents the index and the two dimension the first is the data field and another one is the next that is the address of the next data so how you will define the address here let us take index as the address now say for example here the, the starting point may be here uh, zero okay since we are following the ascending order let us follow the ascending order so after 10 it must be the next biggest element and uh, like that so it is arranged in an ascending order so here let us take this as the starting point as among this this is the smallest element now here if you see this the data is not in an order thing if you see just that is data column alone 10 then 40 then 100 then 20 60 so it is not in an ordered manner but so we are going to order it through pointers we are actually not moving the data up and down whereas in the previous classes uh, using arrays what we have done is when we want to uh, sort the array then we have to move the whole data all the data and swap accordingly not only that when you want to insert then what you do is you push the elements down when you when i want to insert an element here then this 20 will be pushed down that's the thing so whole thing uh, will be pushed one position uh, below uh, down whereas if i am going to delete an element then i am going to move all the data uh, after that i have to move everything up so the movement of data is there in arrays whereas here i am not going to do any uh, movement of the data instead using pointers we are going to achieve the same result so how it is say for example the first uh, the index uh, index zero let us consider since this is a smallest element uh, it starts from zero so next uh, you have to go to the next column already we have seen in a linked list the next column will have the uh, address of the next location next node uh, uh, which is of in that uh, sequential structure so here we let us consider this here instead of address we use index so here for the next element what you have to search is uh, you have to find out you can get it from the index 4 so after 10 20 is the next biggest element then uh, if uh, in our now you have to go to the next to get the next value so when you go that 7 now you find 30 so the next after 20 30 is present then here 30 the next element after 30 where you can find you can you have to go to location 1 so here 1 you go there now this is the next location that is nothing but 40 after 30 it is 40 so if you see that it is sorted 10 then 20 then 30 then next is 40 now here in order to find the next location you have to go to the location 8 so here from 8 you have the next location as 5 so you have to go to 5 in order to get the next location then in 5 when you search it is 6 so now you have to go to the location 6 so that 70 is there so here we have we have come to the 70 now in this 70 you, you will be storing in the next field uh, what is the next element so you have to go to 9 so when you go 9 from here to 9 you have that name 90 the next element after uh, this 70 because there is no 80 so after 70 this 90 is the next largest element so here you reach the next uh, location where it has the index 3 so now go to index 3 here so in when you go to index 3 you have this data 10 now from here you have to go to 10 in order to get the next data so here when you come here you can see that you have uh, and then when you see the next location it is nil which states that it is the end of the list so when you search through the address you find that the data is ordered that is uh, you can arrange the 
address in such a way that the next next element will be the uh, will be in sorted order. So that is what the aim. So that we have achieved here in the uh, linked list. If you represent linked list as arrays, then you can uh, uh, write the next location. You can use the next location to have the next next element in a sorting order. Here we are not at all changing any uh, the move. The data is not at all changed. Suppose I am going to insert an element. Say for example, after uh, I am going to insert 80. So 80 is not present. Let us say insertion. So now let me insert here 80. So what I have to do? I have to do just pointer manipulation. So here what I have to do is uh, this uh, after 70, the 80 has to come. So here uh, where location is the 9. When I go there 9, I have to just put this um, location 2 in place of this. So I have to take the index and keep it here so that the index is changed. Now it will reach here. Now I have to give the next location. So already here it was 9. So what I have to do is first I have to write down the 9, nine here. Then I have to manipulate this pointer as 2. Now if you see that after 22, then after 80, I have to go and reach 9 where I can find the next, uh, uh, the bigger, uh, uh, the next largest element after 80. So like this you have to manipulate. So first what you have to do is, first uh, you have, previously it was 9 and here there was nothing when I inserted. So what you have to do is, you have to get this data. This data and you have to write the data here. So that is the first step. After that, you have to write the index. Now, the sorting, uh, assembling order is still maintained. So you have to modify only the pointers. Here also you are not moving any pointer. You just manipulate two pointers. That's all. Still you are able to um, maintain the ascending order. Suppose I am going to delete an element. Say for example, 60. I want to delete the value 60. So what I have to do? When I delete the 60, by deleting 60, I will be losing this pointer also. But I should not lose the pointer because this points to the next location. So where I have to do the modifications, just I have to check 50, the previous element. So here I have to put the 6. Now this value, I can remove this value, 60. So now if you see that, after 50, uh, after 50, see so first is 4, so you have to go to 4, 7, 7 you have to go to here to get the next value, 1, 1 we have 40, then after 48, which is nothing but your uh, 50th element, then 6, 6 is nothing but our 70, six, because he previously it was 6 but 5, but we have lost, so this pointer we have to write it in the next, uh, the previous location, because 50 is the previous location of this. Which is pointing to this. So we, I have to note down this 5 and then we have to modify this data. So by writing 6 here, we are not, we are still able to uh, go through the whole of the array without any breaking in the link. Now we will see the next 